basic equipment worth over 3.4 million shillings donated by the British government to the Ministry of Health. Now, the equipments will be used to preserve and analyze crucial evidence to identify and convict terrorist offenders. We are deeply committed to the security partnership with Kenya, our closest counter-terrorism partner here in East Africa, and we invest approximately 1 billion shillings a year in counter-terrorism efforts in partnership with the government of Kenya uh, and, uh, and our colleagues in the NGO world. In the last year, the UK has worked on a number of uh, programmes that have helped strengthen Kenya's resilience against terrorist activity. So today, the UK is pleased to formally hand over this medical equipment that will help improve disaster response in Kenya and support vital forensic investigations. And I think this is an important nexus where health plays a key role. We said that uh, to achieve fair and just criminal justice, we need to deploy all our elements within government, the ministries, departments and agencies that can bring in their knowledge and specialization and skills in ensuring that we can actually deliver uh, the services that are required by Kenyans in a fair and just way. More and more, criminal justice depends upon evidence, evidence that is generated through various ways and increasingly technology plays a big role in generating this evidence and presenting this evidence for convictions. When law enforcement agencies are involved in the collection of evidence, be it physical or digital, it is forensic science that deals with the analysis of those evidence in order to establish facts in the court of law. Thus, the duties and responsibilities of a forensic expert in a criminal investigation is critical as it involves a careful examination of evidence while ensuring that it is not tampered with.